Hi folks, Ricky Tang here. Now I've been asked in one of the comments to give a quick overview of my BMW soft luggage. This is it, <laughs> all the soft luggage I've got. So it's a BMW soft bag free. Let's have a little look at what pockets it's got and other features, and then we'll get it out on the bike. So we have front pocket in there. None of these pockets are particularly deep can't put a lot of items in them but um, you know they're there they're on the outside they're quite handy on the top we have a document pocket really because it's not very deep that's as deep as it goes that's where my hand stops we have these side pockets on this one I've got all my straps six straps come as standard so I'll show you those later on when we're outside on the other side i have inside there my shoulder strap which i haven't actually used <laughs> but um the shoulder strap will go on to uh these here both sides as you can imagine and basically the way it will hang is this will be touching you on your on your body as you're carrying that on the shoulder strap what else oh underneath we have a pocket a pocket and a strap now that basically gets used with the rear rack uh, on my motorbike. I'll show you that when I'm outside. On the inside we have a roll top because basically this bag isn't waterproof but this compartment inside the roll top would be so you can roll that down. Job done. So we have that. We have some hooks or some hoops on the outside. And we also have, inside the roll top, I'll show you one of them, some hoops on the inside, there's one on each corner as well. I think that's about it. Oh, one other thing, let me zip it back together. The capacity of this bag is 30 litres, unless you extend it. So it does have a little extended section. And that will take it out to um, 35 litres four strap points two there two at the back oh on the side slightly they're pretty easy to use so we're all good there the straps are adjustable for length so uh, i'll show you the straps from the right side anyway so yeah these are the main features and facilities of the bag now primarily this bag believe it or not is actually designed to be used in conjunction with the rear rack what i've done is i've put the rear rack pretty much back to stock because i normally use a, a givy rack and a givy top box uh, on here which means taking off this plastic cover and putting in these little spacers in these various bolt holes and that means this bag won't fit on the rack properly mainly because of the little knocking mechanism on there but if you've got the standard rack and maybe use BMW cases as well, um, well, what you can do with this is actually hook this under the rack. So we go into here. I'll get underneath, shall I? You probably can't see a thing. But anyway, yeah, you just go into there, shove it underneath. And what that means is when it comes to strapping it down, you only really need to use two at the back here of the four available strap points down here are the straps it comes with too long too medium too short so um to strap this one up i think i just need the medium ones so what i'll do i also luckily for me have the pannier brackets <laughs> now they come with the bike to be honest with you i haven't got panniers i'm not a fan of panniers because of the width and the fact that i'll most likely forget that i got them on at some point and crash them into something so in any case what i can do here is get this medium strap put that through the hoop get that on tighten up just a tad just to get it straight more or less and in position let's get the other one on the other side so it's up to you where you strap these things you can get inventive i'm not saying these are the best places to strap it but just for demonstration purposes as you can see here what we'll do is tighten those up equally not too tight so remember it's hooked in under the rear of the rack it's tied in nice and tight 
at the back. Do not over tighten these because there is a possibility if you're a little bit overzealous of pulling away this stitching. This is my second bag. But that is it. That is not going anywhere. You have to find a way of um, tidying these straps so they don't get in the way of anything. I tend to just pull them back through a little bit. Create some little hoops. There we go. One soft bag on the bike. Now you might not have a rack, in which case you can put this on the seat. Now, if I remember rightly, this will just about fit under the back of the seat as well for a little bit more security, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't get the bag far enough back here with the rack on to tuck it under the, uh, the rear of the seat. Now I've actually had it like this. I'll show a picture of um, when I went to uh, a friend's house for uh, a couple of days and went to Bradford Autodrome for a track day. For that, I think what I did, I think, did I use the mediums? I can't quite remember. Let's find out. I think I might use the long ones for this. Oh yeah, look at that, we're just, <laughs> just too short. So I must use the long ones. So again, tighten them up, tighten them up equally. Oh, not too much until you put the back straps on. I can use this little hoop here to uh, secure the bag. So let's get these tight. Uh, you can't see them very well, but yeah, just get those pretty tight at the front. Just tight again at the back. Okay, it's moving back a bit, so I'll move it forward and uh, tighten those down a little bit more yeah so again tie this excess uh, strap up somewhere and yeah you're good to go in fact hold on oh, silly me i can't put the top box on because uh, the rack's over there but anyway so that's pretty much all the capacity i need for kind of a probably a week away again for someone who's not a big fan of panniers i think the top box and the soft bag as long as you're not carrying a passenger <laughs> because they won't fit in there that's a good combination for me so i have a little bonus this soft bag also fits the honda bros excellent remember this little pocket that we got underneath the soft bag well the back of the pillion seat just about squeezes in there and then i can use two straps on either side to uh, these handles I've got on both sides as well and yeah we've got a nice solid fitting there so that gives me a little extra bit of carrying capacity in conjunction with a, a tank bag now there is a, a Givy tank lock ring I think it's called BFO3 with a bit of finessing and filling in of holes you can get it to fit on this tank so I've got some Givy tank bags a couple of them that I could uh, switch between so I can put those there one of them's I think 15 litres. So yeah, we've got a decent bit of carrying capacity on the Honda Bros without trying to find proper luggage for the bike. It does say BMW on the back, but I'm not proud. <laughs> right folks, see you in another video. Bye.